guys, it's Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellville, Victoria. Today we just had a brand new family Excalibur Castle arrive. This one's tricked up with a few options, so when we walk through I'll highlight the optional extras that we've put on this guy. Before we jump inside, we're going to show you the outside, but it's important to remember that all of these things can be added to your order if you don't want to be able to take our stock unit today. So what we've got is we have a 6 inch A-frame chassis running all the way front to back of that coupling. The A-frame stops just short of the wheels and then the A-frame takes, uh, sorry, the chassis takes over that point onwards from there. So the actual substructure itself creates a 12 inch subsection of the framework. It's running at a three millimeter steel chassis with a 450 MPA grade of steel. That's at a hundred percent Australian made chassis with our Alco running gear fitted out to the Tough Ride independent 3.7 ton independent suspension I'm fitted out on this guy. We've got this awesome Excalibur shroud from Crusader. So a little bit of decoration, a little bit of protection. It means after a long period of time, taking this guy off, giving it a paint, if you want to be able to trick it up, it's so easy to do. We've optionally upgraded this guy with a DO35 all vehicle components rotative 360 coupling. So this is a DO35 with a pin coupling that comes with the pin, of course. We have Alco ESC fitted out on this model. So we fitted our Excalibur castle out with the Alco sway control device from Alco. Um, that's going to give you 10% off your insurance. We've got a ratchet handbrake as well on that DO35. Excellent Intel engineering chain hook hangers. So the chassis itself is constructed with a partnership agreement with Crusader. So this is an Intel engineer running chassis. So that is all the quality, quality standards you can expect from a Crusader caravan built on the Excalibur Castle. Uh, the exact same from the chassis manufacturer as well. That way we can guarantee the uh, supply of chassis steel is 100% Australian. We can guarantee that it's a millimeter perfect chassis. We can guarantee that the actual fit out itself are all genuine Alco European hardware, which is absolutely excellent, especially if you're gonna be taking these vans in the outback where they belong. Two nine kilo gas bottles, of course. We're running on the uh, water tanks. We've got two 95 liter water tanks and one 95 liter gray with cleaning system and expulsion system. On the roof, we've got two 170 watt solar panels, as well as the mono crystal and setup there gonna give you heaps more charge. We have an A-frame tap protector with our little A-frame tap here on the front so it's a little tap guard we also have a regulator protector up here on our gas bottles protecting that little regulator point from any knocks or bruises in mine encounter along the way across australia we have a toolbox so we can actually go ahead and install toolboxes um, right onto the A-frame, there's on top of the shroud, we can actually fit out, it's an optional extra, we can go to a three or two bike rack carrier on the top of this. We put a nice big checker plate holder, steel uh, framing across the top here and then just bolt her straight to it. So already got provisions ready to go. This guy just pops open. We have a Weber Q slider. So this is absolutely awesome. So we just pull it out. Weber Q sits here. I'm actually cooking now off this Weber Q. No need to remove it. We give it a clean, we put it back in. On the other side of the toolbox, we have a generator slide as well. So that's a two KVA generator. So that's just gonna run your air conditioner. It's gonna run your microwave, stuff like that. With an Ibis 4, it's gonna absolutely smash it. And we have two jerry can holders, 20 liter holders, one here, one on the other side and that generator spot, of course, as I previously mentioned. The van is suited with a 600 high checker plate. Luca Bond aluminium sides, it's a three millimeter fully insulated panel right here. Mirandi started out frames to about 220 each side with insulated sidewalls to the best of the uh, manufacturer's ability. And then we've got a fully insulated composite roof and fully insulated composite floor. One of a kind, no other manufacturer is running at a full one piece. From here, right across the top, right to the back, that is a one piece composite roof with a checker plate membrane to assist. There is absolutely no chance of water no chance of any ingress and it is fully insulated. You should be here today, it's 22 degrees and sunny. It's absolutely spot on inside. The temperature itself, we're not that, it's not that ghastly hot feeling you get with some of those older and, uh, and more standardized caravan builds. This guy here is a well more insulated unit. So that is something you're gonna be able to get along with a front window built by Crusader on that one piece membrane fiberglass skin. There's no chance of any ingress so you can worry free with that window. And um, that, that is gonna give you so much more light in the van as I personally experienced. So what we've got here, we've got a slide out Dometic kitchen. We've upgraded this guy here. We found it really popular with our last van. So we decided it was a good idea to make it a standard feature. You've got hot and cold water taps there at the back. We also have our um, uh, ignition switch hardwired to this. So that way you can uh, light the piezo up to be able to got your three little burners, your sink and your chopping board. This guy just slides all the way in. We've got down here, we've got cold water, hot water, gas. Very, very easy to be able to plug up and install that way. Uh, you can still use it as sort of an outside shower method if you want to as well. And there's still full storage on the actual side of this as well. It's a checker plate line boot, so you can just chuck stuff in there without any worry of scratching the floor or denting anything along the way. And then to put it back in, we literally just grab it here and we give it a push and that's about it. Very, very easy to use. And then it just folds up like so, heap of room, 
very, very easy to utilize. You've got the Manutech drop down legs. Now that A-frame, as I mentioned previously, runs all the way back to the wheel. So that is a 12 inch substructure. So the actual van itself is built with one of the strongest and most reinforced chassis in the industry, if not the industry of caravan manufacturing for what you get for a, the price you're gonna pay. You're not paying in the hundreds. This van here is fitted out with some absolute weaponized units. So what we've got, we've got a 600 high checker that runs all the way through. We've got our pull out splash granite that's an AE8500 Dometic awning. So that is an upgraded awning. It's a thicker material awning. We've upgraded that to be able to get a little bit more out of the, uh, the life of the awning. So this awning is probably about 17 feet wide. It's a massive order, sending support there. We've got our Dometic area on the roof. Now, most importantly, the windows are a double glazed Dometic window. They're a Moby Cool window from Dometic, built in Europe, of course. We have a crim safe door, beautifully assisted here with the tri-lock system. Um, these are gonna keep everyone safe, nice and, um, nice and uh, comfortable. It's a fly screen, of course, but you've got roller blind there inside the door as well. Fitted out on the inside there, that just goes up and down, so easy to use. We've got bargain grab handle assist, so the first press of a button, it puts a little blue light, very hard to see with how bright it is today. Second light brings her on, and it fires this step light here as you walk in, so it's a little, um, a little like grab handle assist at night. And you've got an electric step, like Thule, Thule, however you say it. Um, the three badges replicated here on the side of the Crusader. So winner of Manufacturer of the Year. So this is a caravan government recognized uh, certification. So they have recognized our caravan builds from Crusader Caravans as a superior build to any of that in the industry offered uh, at the moment. Not, not set on price range, not a paid thing. This thing here is a genuine government certificate accredited by the Caravan Industry Association of Australia. Quality control measure. So every quality control measure, the, um, you know, the, the 200, 300 point check built in by Crusader, those are fully covered. And then we've got the RVMAP. So that's an independent body by our RVMAP. We nominate ourselves to obviously go off of that and they come in and they independently audit and check all work done by Crusader, including electrical, including gas, including absolutely everything. That means it's met all quality control measures to a T. The side vent here is for the microwave. Outside entertainment, my favorite, what we've got is we've got a TV point here. We've got an aerial double power point, 12 volt socket. So you bring your TV, pop them out. That's a 32 inch TV in this guy. You've got outside Blue, uh, Bluetooth speakers. So you can stream your Spotify, Apple Music, whatever your, uh, whatever your poison is. You've got outside lighting, three annex lights there on the outside. Flip down picnic table. We haven't got the keys. We keep this guy locked up, keep him nice and clean for the next buyer. Now, most important part stuff that everyone loves. This is a side wheel, uh, checker plate wheel spat for a bit of protection. Again, chassis running all the way through. This is a 3.7, but plated at 3.5, independent tough ride suspension with twin shock absorbers. This is a 16 inch 245 wheel and tire. So this is a full off-road unit. We've gone and we've spec the ride up. People in these families, these top tier markets, they want that off-road gear. They want that versatility to be able to take the kids down some awesome tracks. And um, just to give them that measure of comfortability, know that wherever they go, they're fully covered. So 16 inch tough as anything, primal wheels and tires. We've got 12 inch brakes and we've also got our independent tough ride suspension, twin shock absorbers, all Australian made, all Australian assembled, all Australian hardware. These guys are absolutely kitted out with Alco gear in there. So it's fully, fully, fully covered. And we make sure that we don't cheapen your purchase with that fit out of sort of cheap products. We've got jacking point here at the rear. We've also got mud guard there as well as it goes back. Now, um, as we make our way here, this here is our toilet cassette. So the toilet cassette opens up like so. This guy's your little travel case. Um, it is a ceramic uh, toilet bowl within the, uh, within the Dometic CTS 4110. Um, this guy here's got a little cradle. This does not have off-road suspension, so we've got to be a little bit more gentle with it, but you can take it on any plane flights you'd like. Pop him in there. We'll show you a little bit more inside when we pop through. We've got a reinforced three-arm bumper. So if you're wanting to put a grip sport bike rack or something crazy like that on the back, this is reinforced to be able to handle a little bit more, um, little bit more weight. We've got that 16-inch traditional uh, Intel engineering uh, spare wheel carrier. We've also got a safety day reversing camera. So it's a single reversing camera. That reversing camera itself is a night vision camera and sound activated camera. So you're going to be able to hear everything and see everything at night whilst you're backing back or driving forward. That remains on the whole time you drive. So it acts as almost like your side mirrors, but it gives you comfortability. Well, I know when I tow, I can see three lanes wide with that if set on the right setting. Nava rear clearance lights, massive wide clearance lights. You're never going to have an issue with people not seeing brakes. We've got our uh, license plate carry there as well. Three bunk windows. We do make this in a two. If it is a two, there's an access locker here. Window moves up, window moves up. And then you've got two bunks and a heap of side under, uh, under access there as well for the kids. Um, otherwise, we're selling a lot more threes and twos, it seems, with these bigger models. 
Underneath here, we've got mains pressure water filler. So this is a mains pressure system. You plug your hose into here, you turn this valve, it sucks the water straight into the water tanks, and it just gives you a whole full tank in about five, six minutes of work. So no other manufacturer of this quality brings this sort of plumbing gear forward. We have independent plumbers that work for us. We don't use contracting firms. We also have a uh, independent electricians that work for us in our factory, our people. We don't contract it out. So we know how this is fitted out. We know the level of quality. All John Guest fittings, all John Guest pipe work, all compliance, all hot water pipes, absolutely. Temperature checked, these things are, um, you cannot look past. There are accreditations and affirmance to know that you are covered in any basis of fit out with Crusader Caravans. So mains pressure there, we suck the water in, run straight to the tank. These are almost redundant, but we put them on because it asks too many questions as we don't. You've got water tank emptying, we've got gray water tank. So we close it off now, we bypassed everything to the gray tank. Let's say the gray water tank gets a bit smelly, you want to give it a clean. This here, plug it on, it flushes the gray water tank. But again, this smell traps inside because we fit them out with uh, qualified plumbers, not just handyman. Um, and then that's going to stop the smell coming up through the tap fittings inside the caravan. So you're not going to smell any of that sort of gross mildewy sort of smell. So smell traps, cleaning system, tank gauge, these are something you come as standard with the Excalibur's range um, and the Musketeer range as well. So mains pressure water fillers, ignore this, don't have to use him. We have a 220 litre AES uh, automatic switchover fridge, tropically rated of course. Top mounted fridge vent next to the solar panels either side so you can see the black line solar panels up there with the J molding across the top. We got top fridge vent, the two fans automatically activate, it sends the hot air up, hot air naturally rises going to rise to the top it is a better and much more efficient evacuation system for the heat up in the body of the cavity of the caravan for that fridge 220 liters heap of space for the kids mum dad uncle arnie whatever it may be in here we've got an external shower hot and cold water with a braided hose we have a 28 liter stainless steel no anode hot water service this is gas and 240 volt it's a fast recovery unit it's going to absolutely zap the hot water as you're using it you're never going to run out of hot water it is not an instantaneous unit we believe these guys build a much better and more efficient unit by swift 100 percent australian made unit so this is a fantastic one to work with crusader we have two 120 amp agm batteries with an 80 amp circuit breaker out here on the outside to protect against river crossings or anything like that, that you get up to it's a waterproof system of course we've got two guard battery tank covers so that's going to give you a heap of assurance to make sure it's also lockable there as well so two 120 amp optioned up batteries we also have two 170 watt solar panels on the roof there as well mono crystalline of course running through to a pm 300 ba uh, battery management system controlling all your solar dc to dc all that sort of stuff we have power inlet and we also have circuit breakers of course for our um 240 trips we also have a uh, side aerial point so that way you go to a caravan park, you want to use their satellite dish, you can actually plug that in there, it'll override the one on the roof. We have our TV box that we keep with the van. We have our fuse panel for provisional solar or anything like that at a later stage. We also have a heap of access and a checker plate clad boot. I'm so excited to be able to show you the inside because we've gone for some awesome little colours there as well. So before we jump inside, this is the final piece of the puzzle. We have a generator locker there on the outside, so that just locks into place. We pull our generator, key start, whatever it may be, plug it into the side here, and it's going to absolutely fire the whole van up. You're going to use that aircon, no worries at all. And that just pushes in. Beautiful. Now, to really highlight, guys, the, the main reason Crusader Caravans walked away with that accreditation that we so proudly boast is the build quality is absolutely second to none, and the roof and the floor is absolutely incomparable to that of any really manufacturer out there within the same league of Crusader Caravan's build. Do your research on it. It's the latest and greatest tech, fully insulated composite panels. Timber is slowly phasing out of the roof and is phasing out of the floor. Fully insulated floor, fully insulated roof. It is absolutely the spot on build for your next Crusader, or caravan for that matter. Now this van's just arrived, so it needs one final clean, but so far this Excalibur castle would have to be my absolute favorite. So what we've gone for is we've gone for a timber top with a black Hefeli sink and a three-way filter mixer tap. We have black handles, of course, black Sirocco fans, just to highlight a little bit more. We've done an NX panel on the uh, bunks as well, just for the bunk ladder to give you a little bit of versatility, add a bit of color to such a white area, um, which I think looks absolutely fabulous. The factory have absolutely smashed that out of the park. But we'll take you front to back. Nice way to be able to show it. So we've got two 1,800 windows either side. So it's fantastic. We've got full blockouts. We've got fly screens. We've got easy clean frames. We've got easy use windows as well. Click and click. 
like that. So, and you've got locking knobs, of course, to be able to lock those in place. We have our Sirocco fans for mum and dad. The kids also have uh, their individual Sirocco fans there at the bunks. Dust pressure hatch, you're driving into headwind, that's gonna suck the air in, pressurize the whole caravan as you're driving. We have a magazine pocket that Crusader has so, uh, so willingly placed here, and we've got a heap of storage in there as well to be able to utilize, so just for our mat pockets or hats or whatever it may be. We've got full storage here, um, an arm's length worth of there, and we've got almost an arm's length worth of here. There's a heap of storage. We know storage is so important, so mum and dad have some tremendous amount of storage. We've got pull-out drawer there as well. The pull-out drawers in Crusader, get this, uh, uh, there's not one piece of timber besides the front of this guy here, not a piece of timber. We've got metal-sided drawer runners. We've got a polycomp backing there. We've got a polycomp drawer. This whole thing is a plastic build. There's a 10-year warranty on the actual construction material of the drawer material. It's a fantastic way to make sure your assurance and that off-road use is going to be covered. Um, and it is put together with uh, absolute qualified guys mucking it together. You're not going to have an issue in the world with that. And then a black handle lift assist to be able to put that in. And rollers, of course, going in nice and tight. Inside of these pigeonholes, you've got double power points and 12 volt sockets as well. So a heap of 12 volt charging there. And all the reading lights in the caravan have individual USB uh, plugs as well. So you can whack about 15 iPads in here just for a bit of fun. We're gonna make our way through. So uh, mum and dad win here. They get a 32 inch TV for mum and dad. Um, you pull that around, the kids have got TV if they're just hanging out here in this area. Dometic wine guard aerial here on top of the roof. That just guy pulls down, you just turn it to desired location, it's completely up to you. And then underneath the bed is a heap of storage, so we haven't stolen any of the storage out of this. you still got a drawer for all the knick-knacky things, and we've still got a heap of storage there as well. That's your, uh, your jack to be able to jack the caravan up if you need to change the spare wheel or get underneath there for whatever reason. We have foot rests. This guy just pulls up, locks in. That guy pulls up, locks in. So you've got two foot rests. You've also got two drawers underneath this area as well. So draw here, draw there, and a foot rest underneath here as well. Now, while we're down on this level, because I'm a short bum, what we've got is we've got our microwave. That is a Swift Deluxe microwave, so it has confection settings, pizza settings, baked potato settings, just because we can, and um, even a popcorn setting. So this guy here, below bench, hot drawer. People have been asking for ages, we want a low, uh, microwave. Everything we lift is so uh, high, especially people like me. I, I'm, I'm two foot or nothing. Um, this being lower really does help me. And then you've got little access panels all underneath here as well. A heap of cupboards, a heap of drawers. We've got this drawer here, of course. All the drawers there. Cutlery drawer up the top. There's a heap to love about this van. We've gone for a black pack with a Santhia top and a metallic silver finish on the splashback. Um, big window, we've got a filter tap just there on the bottom, we've got a standard tap at the top, we've got an overflow of course. Um, the metal extrusion as highlighted by the Excalibur range, all of the latches knock straight onto that aluminium extrusion, no plastic catches in the Excalibur at all, and adjustable shelves in every single one of the overhead cupboards. So that there is strong as anything, it's not going to move, it cops an absolute beating. One thing I love about the Excaliburs is the just the cosmetic look of it. You've got this beautiful um, aluminium finish roof piece that just highlights and bounce a heap of light, and you've got dimmable strip lighting here as well. The main controller for that unit is just up here, we've got dimmable strip lighting, so we just turn him up and down. Bluetooth radio up here. We've got external speakers in and out. We have hot water service switch, hot water service switch, wireless lighting switch. So this wireless lighting controller is mounted just up here for all the customers we have coming into the dealership. And this guy here, we just press little buttons with a little remote and it fires that little, up, that little guy up there and then you're gonna be able to utilize all of the 12 volt lighting. So you can be outside and still turning on outside lights with a flick of a button. And all across here, of course, we still have all of our cupboards and a heap of storage there as well for all the bits and pieces you're gonna be putting in this van. The projector system up there is your um, battery system, all your main fuses up there, of course, and your uh, solar, your battery charging, everything's compacted up there, so a nice, tidy little cupboard. You've got a Nuva mapper table. Check this table out. In, it goes out, it goes left, it goes right, it does a spin, it drops down. You can take it off, you can put it out the window, maybe not, but we can definitely spin it around and click it in. Um, this guy here just drops like so. So if you happen to pick up any stragglers or cousins or aunties or whatever it may be, um, pet dogs, you can drop this guy down and we can supply you with a cushion. Um, that will allow you to be able to sleep someone else extra here if, you, if you'd like. Um, the fridge as well, we keep the fridge nice and high, we don't drop it to the floor. This fridge is again, has that wire shelving, it's got crisper drawer of course down the bottom, all metal shelving, it's a three way tropically rated fridge. It has um, defrost tabs, so these little frot tabs just here, goes like so. It's a European grade fridge, a Dometic fridge, these guys are absolutely fantastic, it's a three year warranty on the Dometic uh, fridge. 
you've got a full fan forced oven by Swift. So the fan forced oven, of course, um, has a little wok burner just here like so. So the wok burner comes over, noted by the red, 240 cooktop there. We've got pull out oven trays. We also have pull out grills. You can take them out of the oven and put them like so. Um, there's a heap to love about this, but one thing I love about it is Australian made, Australian owner are proud of it. So these guys are Australian made company. They're Swift, they make the microwave, they make the hot water service. It's built here in Campbellfield. So they have an assembly line, that they put everything together uh, just up the road and they do a fantastic job um, of making sure an Australian built product is, is exactly what you can expect and a quality finish. We've got a square edge top, that on that Santhia top just there. Finch rain hood with uh, light and uh, display, so it's fantastic. Touch light, of course, uh, like so. And um, you've got the roller door. So this roller door is separated on each side for the kids. So one like so, so you can separate those kids area. None of these dicky curtains, none of these dicky concertinas. You've got a proper roller door. Then we've got a roller door, uh, just making sure I've unlocked everything. We fire him up and you've got a proper roller door for the ensuite, a proper roller door for the kids area. So no little concertinas, no need to um, to sort of sacrifice your wants and desires for lack of space. Crusader have managed to put it in this 22 foot van. You've got bunk ladder fixed for the kids. Each kid has a uh, USB reading light up there as well as Sirocco fan, which is fantastic. So they're never gonna be complaining. Um, now just for a little bit of demonstration, um, these are quite an amply sized bunk. I must look great on this angle. Um, so this is a, quite an amply sized bunk. So I've still got a heap of feed room here. My head's quite hard up against this wall, but even if I was to shuffle down, I've still got my charger. Um, I feel quite comfortable. It's, it's quite um, breathable in this area. And I've got my full blown 1200 by 350 window as well. So a heap of room, a heap of air, a heap of versatility. Um, getting out might be a bit interesting for someone who's probably my age. Not getting any younger nowadays. Um, and then we've got our washing machine from QFlow, it's a two and a half kilo washing machine. You've got storage below, you've got storage above. So there's a heap to love and storage wise to capture within the uh, family range. But the family castle really, it's, 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 a, it's a different class, absolute different class. This van, any other brand with this style of, of features would be asking the hundreds. This thing here is absolutely fantastic for the price. So what we've got, a heap of room. So this is our shower and toilet. So again, separated by that roller door. Sitting on the toilet, we've got a ceramic bowl. Um, it's a plastic surround, but it's a plastic inner bowl, so you can use just standard cleaning chemicals. Two uh, towel rails, so someone's having a nice shower here. We've got overhead cupboards above us as well, like so. Heap of storage. You've got fans above. So we've got fans above, we've got in and out, so that's an in and out fan. And then we just roll them up for a bit of natural light, like so. We've got black tap hardware. We've got a heap of storage underneath here for, the, um, for, for bits and pieces you can bring along for the kids as well as those two overhead cupboards and a double power point out of the way, all compliant. We have a heap of black tapware in there. So there's a one piece fully composite panel. So it's Australian made and blown panel um, from, um, I believe it's Australian molding. So these guys come all the way through uh, one piece, no chance of water ingress at all. And you'll notice as well, the, the highlight of water ingress is something that we proudly boast because you'll never have an issue with Crusader. It's got a 12 volt pump for all your free camp needs. It's got solar for all your free camp needs. It has everything to love. It's got a full off-road suspension, off-road chassis, off-road rig. You cannot go wrong with this Excalibur castle. If you'd like to make a booking to come and have a look, give us a call on 9359-2938-03 for Victoria, of course. Head to our website for more. Maybe you want a smaller van, maybe you want a bigger van. Go to www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au or alternatively, like and subscribe for more. We'll see you at the dealership and we'd like to see you soon.